What's up, guys, and welcome to my review for The Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. This is the third film in the Fantastic Beasts series, yet again directed by David Yates. And we're bringing Steve Clovis back to write a screenplay for The Wizarding World, co-write the screenplay, along with J.K. Rowling, which is a script based on her original draft for the story of the third film in this series. Where we left off in the last time, look, I rewatched the first two films the past few days, so I was very fresh into this, going into it, and I'll tell you that the first movie, I, I do enjoy it. I come to say that's a four out of five film. Very fun, lighthearted film with, you know, minor problems, but problems nonetheless. Um, maybe not minor, but problems, like I said. Uh, the second film, my original review and thoughts for that, I didn't really like it. And now watching this and rewatching the second movie, uh, I, I come to actually like the second movie. I like that this, the way the story progresses, there is a lot going on in movie two. Um, a lot going on in movie two. A lot of characters, a lot of stuff to follow. But I like the direction it went. And by the end of the film, after rewatching it, last night saying okay i'm interested to see what's going to happen how's this going to continue how are they going to try to get grindelwald because at the end of the last one he's got this big uh rally he's trying to get all these people on his side this film it goes a step farther than that he tries to lead the magical community he tries to become the president of the magical community whatever you want to call it the movie is about a big election that's going to take place it's like a big presidential election of the wizarding world and uh it's it's grindelwald coming in to try to get all the power so it goes beyond him just getting followers to wanting to basically be the president of the whole thing uh, which I thought could have been better if it was executed better. But he never really has any conversations about wanting to rule the the wizards or anything like that. He just sort of falls into this um, nomination, you know, to to rule. He just sort of falls into it. You know, I didn't feel like the character made any moves to get there. It was just kind of one thing led to another. So it, it kind of dragged for me in a bit uh, of places for that in particular. Moving into the to the good characters, Newt Scamander, Dumbledore, they're getting back together to try to stop Grindelwald. Now, in the trailers of this, they're saying, we have to stop the most powerful dark wizard. And I said, okay, but in the film, they're not trying to stop him because I don't think they try to kill him or make any effort to kill him in this in this movie. It's an effort to uh, make sure that he doesn't become president of the wizarding world. Uh, so when the film ends, no spoilers, but when the film ends, it almost feels like a little inconsequential. This whole election was almost for nothing. And the whole Fantastic Beast side of the movie, we're, we're following this new uh, character in the beginning of the film, gives birth to, to two of these animals. So, you know, stuff happens with these animals. I'm not going to spoil it. They're, it starts with a C. I don't know what the, they were called. But um, Chiriths or so, something like that. But uh, they are very important in the film, which leads to the big third act climax of it which i wasn't invested into i thought it was just overall kind of inconsequential and pointless in a way and almost a waste of time uh because when it ends you realize that that whole entire election meant nothing and it could have been erased from the movie this whole plot line of him trying to become president of the the wizards just could have been cut from the film. We didn't need a political side to the wizarding world in this fantastic beer, beast series. We just didn't need it. Um, it. It didn't work, and it doesn't work. So hopefully in the next movie, we're past that. We're past all the political stuff. We're going to get into Dumbledore versus Grindelwald with Newt Scamander coming in to help as well. Because, you know, the movie is called Secrets of Dumbledore. This is Dumbledore's movie in a way. Obviously, Newt's commander is the, the lead character. He's in it all the time with his brother. Uh, Jacob Kowalski comes back. He's, he's 
probably the highlight of the film. Again, I, I love his, uh, maybe because he's a muggle, he's like us, he's viewing this world basically for the first time and a lot of stuff going on in this world. Progressions with that character, liked it. His uh, love interest in the film, Queenie, we see her in the last few films. She's in this again. What's going on with her? If you've seen the end of the second movie, you know what sort of choices she made. And in this film, she has to deal with those decisions. Does she like it? Does she not? I feel like it's an interesting storyline, but it just takes a long time to, to get where we are at the end of the film. And I feel like that could have been the first hour of the movie. Uh, all of that, because I do feel like there's a lot of filler in this movie. I feel like there's a lot of filler stuff going on. The second movie, say what you will about it. There's no fill. There, okay, the only thing I would say fillerish about the first, the second film, is the uh, Lestrange character, Letta Re- Re- Lestrange or Lita Lestrange, played by Zoe Kravitz. All the stuff going on with her switching to babies in the ocean, uh, totally could have been cut from the film big problem that's a 10 minute sequence that they're just talking about lineage and none of it just goes anywhere uh so uh yeah other than that i think james newton howard's score excellent as always when we see hogwarts and stuff it's very reminiscent of the harry potter films very nice to see that but other than a nostalgia factor with this film i just think that the story the overall plot of the film was just inconsequential. We're not trying to stop Grindelwald because there, there, there's a, you know, I, I'm not going to spoil it, but by the end of the film, we're just trying to stop this him from winning this election. And that's the whole thing where these animals come into play. So the Fantastic Beast side of it, the, the, the Grindelwald becoming, coming into power, none of that worked for me at all. I thought it was moderately entertaining. Like I said, I feel like it's a little long. But, uh, look, this is probably my least favorite in the Fantastic Beasts series. Um, didn't really think that the story was good enough to, to be a full feature film. Maybe shave it down a little bit, make that the first hour. So Steve Clovis coming in, thank God he did, because if J.K. Rowling had the screenplay to herself, I don't know how this movie would have panned out. It seems like there was a lot of ideas, you know, that, she would love to put in a 700 page book called the secrets of Dumbledore. But now we have a two plus hour movie where we're, where we're loading a lot of this stuff in where I think a lot of it is just surface level. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I hear they're not going to green lit the fourth movie until they see how this performs. I'm sure it'll do well. I've been hearing a lot of good reviews. I've been hearing that people are saying that it's the best of the three. I disagree. I think it's the worst of the three. But hey, we'll, we'll see what happens. Performances, great. Always uh, the performances have been great in these films. Newt Scamander, I mean, Eddie Redmayne is great in the movie. Uh, Jude Law is fantastic as Dumbledore. I actually think Mads Mikkelsen is kind of not phoning it in. He's good in the movie, but he's just being Mads Mikkelsen. He, he's not giving the... He's not very threatening. I feel like Johnny Depp was a lot more threatening as the character. Um, he's not threatening in this. I, I don't think Mads Mikkelsen was, was very threatening or memorable as Grindelwald. I think he was just kind of walking through it when Johnny Depp was doing a lot of cool things with his, with his voice, the way he walked, the way he moved his wand around. This just kind of felt like your, your everyday sort of uh, guy. So, you know, say what you will about that. At the end of the day, this movie gets a three out of five stars for me. I didn't really like it. I didn't really dislike it i'm just kind of right in the middle it's what it is um this series is kind of a mess i think the the first film is a four out of five the second film is a three and a half out of five and this is a three out of five so it's kind of going downhill hopefully they will get their feet in the right direction look maybe we need a new director i mean david yates why does he have to direct all five of these movies he's directed the first three give it to somebody else give it to give it to chris columbus Bring Mike Newell back into it. You know, I doubt Alfonso Cuaron would come into this, but you, you never know. I mean, I'm just talking about directors from the past Harry Potter films. You can bring a new director and give, give it new life, because I think that's what it needs. These Fantastic Beast films are all kind of blending together at this point, and uh, it, it has to make improvements pretty soon. But that's my thoughts about the movie. Comment down below. 
Did you see it? What do you think about it? What's your favorite of the series? Did you like this movie more than I did, or did you despise it? Comment down below. Also, hit that subscribe button. I have a Fantastic Beast Harry Potter film review uh, section on my channel that you can check out. Watch all my reviews for the Harry Potter films. And a lot of playlists, uh, almost 10 years of content up on this channel. So uh, come on. Come on over, subscribe, and become part of the community. Uh, guys, you can follow me on Twitter at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingArises131. And that's what it for me. Thank you so much for watching my non-spoiler review for Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. And until next time, over and out.